if you are a smaller level guy, doesn't have to be, you know, D3, but, you know, D2 guy who, who averaged pretty good numbers. What are some options outside of this ex exposure camp world where these guys can actually get an opportunity to play overseas basketball? It's a great question. And, you know, my answer is probably not going to be what you expect. But, you know, if I'm a mid-major talent with, you know, average maybe 12 10 12 points a game then at that point i think your first step is to to get an overseas agent that's probably the best the best move for you know someone that's not a high division one athlete i would say to get an overseas agent and the reason i say that is because they have it's it's so hard to really gauge the market from united states you know, and you really just got to put yourself in, in their situation. You know, if it was vice versa. If they're looking for, you know, NBA talent or a chance to play in the G League, you know, it's it's best to get information from people directly in the States that see it, that know what the level of competition is, that have seen guys from equal levels be successful. So I would just say step one, would I would say to get an, an overseas agent that's, you know, stationed in, Germany, anywhere in Europe, and, you know, go on their website, see their players, see where they went, and, you know, find a player that's similar to you from position to bot to build to stats and see where his career trajectory went, where he started off, what his stats were, where his second year deal was. And then you can kind of project, you know, where you fit in that formula. So I would say, yeah, first things first, get an overseas agent, just because they're a little bit more, they'll have more expertise on the market and that's really what's going to be important when you're a guy that doesn't, you know, jump out on paper. You know, you really want to be with an agent that understands the market and that knows a market for, you know, players of your caliber. So get an overseas agent. Um, I would say have a profile made with three full games, three. And uh, a lot of guys think that, you know, putting your best game out there is, you know, the best thing to do. I, I say put two really good games that you had in one game where, you know, just a, a solid game, nothing crazy statistically, because if a team is really interested in you, you know, they'll go above and beyond to really dive in and, and, and figure out what your game is. So you don't feel like you have to get three games where you score 50 points. I mean, th those things can, can speak for themselves, but more so teams want to see, you know, how does he play when he's down? You know, what does he do? Is he is he a teammate that's going to find the hot hand when his teammates having a good game? So just little things like that. And um, what we actually started doing for our guys this year is we actually have sent out workout videos to different teams. And in a time like this where there's not much activity, you know, it seems like the last college game was years ago just because we haven't seen live sports in so long. So you know, giving the team something current to see, you know, where your skill set is right now can kind of, you know, just give you maybe a leg up on the next guy. You know, okay, I see he's, this is a workout video from last week. He looks good. He's shooting it well. You know, maybe we give him a second look. You know, just anything that can kind of give you an upper hand, I would say to do that and, and have every resource, you know, at the team's disposal, you know, at their fingertips when you reach out to them. That's what I would say. Yeah, and I, I agree with you on that as well, just having those multiple games um, because, you know, I had to learn that as well where I would I would have that one game and I would send it to teams and then they would be like, all right, well, can you send me a one where you didn't score 42 points? Like, can I see something? Right. Can I get a 20-point, 10, 10 assists, seven rebound game? Like, you know, let me see right. something around that that area where, you know, you're not putting your best foot forward. So, no, that's really good. Right. That's really good advice.